Hey guys, sorry I haven't done a video in quite a while. Um, I just haven't felt like doing one. Uh, but I'm going to do a get ready with me video today. This is just going to be a plain old get ready with me. I'm wearing a very colorful t-shirt today that I put on to keep wearing. So, I'm going to start off with my primer. Uh, this is from Hard Candy from Walmart. And I put mine all over. I've had a really dry skin lately. What is this? Middle of February. I don't usually have dry skin ever. Um, I've never really had dry skin. But for some reason my skin is very, very dry and itchy. Um, and I plan on doing the oatmeal bath tonight to see if that will help at all. So I'm kind of hoping that that does. Okay, so now we've got that on. And the this primer used to come in a tube, I believe, like one that's kind of like this, and I just put it in one of these because it's a lot easier to manage. Next I'm going to put my concealer on. I do my concealer before my foundation. It seems to stick a little bit better if I do. And this is the Sheer Cover Duo in uh, light medium. And I just dip it into both. Some people use one or the other. I tend to use both. And I go all over from the inner corner, all over my eyelid, and all underneath. And down my nose a little right there. Just to kind of share everything out. Next I'm going to do my foundation. This is only, this used to be uh, an e.l.f. mineral booster yellow corrector, but I ran out so I went ahead and used the container. And the foundation that I'm using is a mixture of Revlon Photo Ready and O3, uh, O2, a little bit of Clinique, and then also BB cream. So uh, I mixed all of them together because it seems to make a very good shade for me. I just mixed them all together in one pot because I was almost out of the Clinique that was already in there and my BB cream I'm, I'm literally almost out of this stuff so I need to just cut the tube open and get the rest out uh, but then I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, dual fiber brush stiff brush, flat brush, whatever you want to call it and I just dip it what's in the cap you know about that and I know it looks light right now but I promise it looks better once it's buffed in And I like having all these foundations mixed together because you get the shine, you get like that shimmery photo finish from the photo ready. I get my coverage from my Clinique, but then I also get all the moisturization from the BB cream. Uh, so I do like it for all of those reasons. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer in the shade Golden. I think they came out with a new shade too. But this is, sorry, this is what this one looks like. So it's got all fours. It has a ton of shimmer in it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, and then I'm going to use a uh, angled blush brush. And I'm just going to do this. Dip it in there like that. Suck my cheeks in. And I know a lot of people say you're supposed to do it down here. I do mine a little bit above. It just seems, again, to work better for my face shape. I have a very, uh, I have an oblong face, but I have a very fat face. Like you can even see right here where that dip already is. I do mine just right above that. Just because that's where I like mine. I go right here on my chin. I'm going to run it along the jawline kind of on the jawline, not really under, not over, just kind of right on it. Run it, whatever's left on the side of my nose. Take a couple more dips into this and run it right up here along my forehead. So you see I've got a pretty good outline. And then I run it right around here in my mouth because you can see how very pale how my mouth is so make sure I've got this good and blended right where I want it good next thing I'm going to do is take a very very big fluffy brush 
this one right here. Um, yeah, just a big fluffy brush. I don't like to name brands. I know it says it's a MAC 187. That's great, but just a really big fluffy domey brush. This is my favorite brush. You can see it's got a lot of love out of it because it's very dark in color. And I just redid all of my drawers last night, and I've actually got all of my Mary Kay stuff, which I have a favorite blush that I like to use. Um, I have two favorite blushes. One of them is the Elf Blush in Joy, which is a very, very pale pink with perfect amount of shimmer. Or I like to get into my Mary Kay palette, and I use, I think it's this one right here. Is it this one? It is this one. This one right here. And it's uh, the dupe for Mary's Orgasm. It's up to you. I am not doing a whole lot with my face today, so I'm actually going to go when I throw that down. I'm going to go with the dupe that's for the Nars Orgasm, and it's Mary Kay's uh, Shy Blush. And it's one of my favorite one of my favorite blushes. And I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to pinch it. Pinch it in between your fingers. And I'm going to kind of go in like this so it just gets into that one. And I'm just going to, you can smile and just get the apples of your cheeks. It's up to you. Um, I used to put my blush way back here. I used to do it here, I used to do it all over, uh, but one day after I got done working out like a while ago, because I don't really do it anymore, um, I saw that my pink goes all the way into over here, so now I try to do what it would look, uh, because this is a more natural blush, I do where it would look uh, natural at, like if I had just got done running or something. So I do it a lot more in, and I still do it on the apples, but a lot more in. I've got like my big mirror here, I've got my little mirror, and then I've got this one right here I can look into too, so. About where I want it. And it's not picking up as well on the camera as it is. I look, I have a lot more blue on the camera than I am in person, which is fine. Perfectly fine, okay. And you can get these palettes from Mary Kay Consultant. These are actually for their show. Uh, they're specifically for consultants only to show the products in. My sister is a consultant though, so I was able to snag one from her. Uh, but if not, you can buy like these Mary Kay palettes that actually pop open. This one's $35. It's a little expensive, but you, it holds just as much as this one down here does. But I like the magnetic one because I don't have to constantly open it and it just fits in my drawer a lot better. So, I am going to skip my highlighter today. I don't really care to put highlighter on. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelid, and I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I always have, and I probably always will. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite um, eye primers. I used to use, uh, blend that out. I used to use Mary Kay's eye primer, and it's just too thick for me. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Just too thick, so I'm going to do a little bit about this much for one eye. And we're just gonna same on the other eye, blend it all the way up to the brow bone. In the corner over the lid, underneath on the outer corner, just all over. Kind of like what I did with the concealer earlier. And I'm actually gonna put my eye primer. I'm gonna leave it with my eyeshadows because that's all I really use it for. And I'm gonna get into I don't think I, I love using my naked palettes, but I use them so often that it's kind of irritating. Let me share, I've got a ton, a ton of palettes. Okay, I've got all of these palettes and more. I have a lot of palettes. But I'm going to go in with my Coastal Sense. BH Cosmetics has these same, uh, same ones. I don't know who's cheaper. I just found Coastal Scents first. Otherwise, you know, if I found Beach Cosmetics, I would have went with them first. But I found Coastal Scents. So I'm going to take a very stiff dumb brush. This is a Bobbi Brown brush, I believe. It says Bobbi Brown. I've never, I really didn't know she had brushes. I found them online and bought them because I wanted specifically a stiff dome brush that looked like this. So Bobbi Brown is the one that makes this one. Now Mary Kay just came out with one. They just redid their brush and I'm waiting for that one to get here. So I may like that one better, but for now, this is the small one that I have that I use. This is the 88 Warm Palette. You got your lighter colors and gradually into your darker brown colors and then you got your blacks and stuff down here. 
Uh, we're going to go in with one of these lightest colors, whatever looks the closest to your skin, uh, but a shade or two darker. That's the one you're going to use because we're going to put it into our crease. And for me, I'm going to use this one right here uh, because it's got a little bit more of a, it's not just straight brown, it's got more of a red to it. And I just dip that in. I'm going to take some of that off. I'm going to flip this over and bring you guys in closer. And I'm going to start with this eye so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put that into the crease like this. And I'm just going to blend that out a bit. Now this is not where I'm leaving it. I'm going to add more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye first and then I'll come back to it. Because uh, I am going to blend that out a heck of a lot more. I just want to get it placed right now with this one. And I'll use a much bigger brush to blend. So when I've got those about where I want them, when they're about even, I'm going to go ahead and blend them out. And for this one, I'm going to use my My. I used to subscribe to My Glam. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it was a, like a monthly subscription, kind of like uh, what Birch Box and stuff was. And I subscribed to them for about five months and finally just got sick of it because the, the first one was amazing. And they were sold out, you couldn't get into it. And now I don't ever see her even promoting her My Glam thing. So she may not even do it anymore. Um, but I used to get it, I don't get it anymore. So it's just kind of, it went crappy. Uh, but this is one of the brushes we got in, it got in it. And I really love it. It's a very, very fluffy brush. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite ones that I have. So we're just going to blend all this out right here. We're doing a very, very neutral, very kind of boring eye today. Because it's kind of cold and rainy and blah out today. So there's this. So you can see it's very light. Very, very light. Okay, so I'm going to put that one down. I'm going to pick up a flat brush. This one's from Coastal Scents. It's just a flat, stiff brush. I'm going to pick up a lighter shade. You can do whatever shade you want. I'm going to use my most loved shade, which is this one right here, which is the second row, third one from the right, if you are looking at the palette from here. I know it kind of looks like the left, but it's from the right. So it's this one. It's just a very pretty, shimmery uh, tan with just a tiny bit of pink in there, and we're just going to place that on the lid. Just a very beautiful, beautiful, shimmery skin color. I, I love it. Again, it's my most loved shade. I know they sell it individually, uh, but I also have one that I really like from Urban Decay that came in my Naked palette that I want to use all of that first before I go to purchase, you know, a, a brand new one. I kind of want to use what I have because, my, you know, makeup does expire eventually, so I'd rather, you know, use up what I have. I'm also going to stick that in the inner corners a little bit. Okay, uh, you can put some on your bottom if you want to, that's up to you. I, however, I'm not going to because I'm actually going to line my, uh, my waterline. I don't think I'm going to line my tight line today though. I'm going to do my waterline and I'm also going to go back to that fluffy brush that we had. I'm going to go ahead and close this palette. I'm done with that. And I'm going to get into my Wet n Wild color icon and I'm going to use this one right here. It's called Creme Brulee. These are uh, 99 cents or something. I think they're $1.99, but you can catch them on sale for 99 cents at Walgreens every once in a while. I would check. They usually do the sale every two months. Uh, you can also check the Wet n Wild website. I know Walmart carries them for like $1.97 all the time, whereas Walgreens is $1.99. But then again, at Walgreens, you can get them on sale where Walmart never has sales. So um, just use that on my as my highlight. I am going to fill in my brows just because they are very light today and we're really not doing anything else with the rest of our face. Uh, and the one I use to fill in my brows is by NYC. It's number 923 Charcoal. It's a very well loved pencil. It was like this long when I started. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here. And I really just need to fill in this first part and a little bit in the back. I am in no way, shape, or form awesome at this. I am still learning how to fill in my brows. Even though, you know, this is what I do. My brows, I, I used to have really, really nice. They were skinny. They were perfect. And then I just kind of, I kept changing them. And now I haven't sat down 
and just wax them and tweeze the crap out of them and change them, you know. So I just kind of fill them in like whatever I'm feeling that day. So this is usually how I fill them in. I have not found an eyebrow color, an eyebrow pencil in the color I need for my eyebrows yet. I have oxymoron hair. I have red in my hair. I also have ash. If you ask any kind of colors, that isn't, that's not right. Like, that is not natural. Ash and red just don't go together. Well, uh, hi! <laughs> I'm the proof. I have ash and red in my hair. So, uh, I've never found a color, hair color specifically, that will work for that. And, obviously, if there's no hair color, there's probably not an eye color pencil either. So, I don't have one specifically for my hair. So they look really dark to me, um, but I'm not done just yet. To me, they look really dark. Again, I would go for a lighter brown, but the light brown just looks dumb, like you can tell. Uh, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Wet Gloss and Lash Brow. These are a dollar from the website, like from the Eyes, Lips, Face website. I've also used the CoverGirl brand of one. Uh, the CoverGirl brand will last you a much longer time than what five of these would. Uh, and it's a little cheaper, so, but I bought these because that's, again, what I had first found before I found CoverGirl. I want to use all these up before I go and buy a CoverGirl one. Uh, because I have bought a ton of these. I probably bought about 20 of these because they're a dollar and I really liked them. Well, I'm down to, like, my last six or seven. Uh, two before this one I had to throw them away because the gel had, uh, dried up. So I wasted two bucks right there. So I, I definitely wait and I definitely look through the store when I go to buy makeup, especially if it's in a clear tube, because I want to make sure I get the one with the most in it, because it does dry up. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take an eyeliner. And I want to use... Which one do I want to use? I could line my eyes with just this plain gray one. It's kind of pretty. Do I want to do that? I'm going to line my eyes with this gray eyeliner. This is 912 Charcoal, and this is by NYX. It's just one of their eyebrow pencils. And I'm just going to very roughly, in no means has to be perfect. I'm wearing a t-shirt today, so I don't want, I didn't want something too harsh as black. So gray seems to work, but I, I need a liquid eyeliner that's in gray. Um, I would like it if the Eyes Lips Face brand that they sell at Target actually had more colors than just brown and black. Like I get they want to sell what's the most popular, but even if they just come out with sets during the holidays or something that have that, um, you know, that have the gray or something in it, I would like that. Because I do really like e.l.f.'s eyeliners, and if I can't find e.l.f., I'll go to Walmart and get the Hard Candy brand, because I have their black liner, and it's not, it's not dark black, it's more like charcoal and black mixed together, and it's kind of that non-high gloss black. It's a very, it's not as dramatic as, you know, when you would do black liner with bright red lips. It's just more of a subtle. I really like it. Okay, so it's about that. That's all we're doing for that. Really easy, really simple. And then I'm going to take my waterline and I'm going to put this mustardy, uh, well, it's not really mustard, it's just a yellow. Um, and I'll show you on here what this looks like. Just yellow. I like to do that instead of white sometimes just to be different. So I'm going to put that in my, um, I'll scoot you down a little. That would be nice. So I'm going to put that in my waterline. Just to have something a little, a little different than white because white is such a pop whereas this is you know, a golden yellow. And I do like this one. There you go. Just kind of a golden yellow color. 
Now we're gonna do crimp our lashes. Crimp our lashes, curl our lashes. We're gonna crimp our lashes. This is a Revlon eyeliner. I, I can't talk today. This is a Revlon eyelash curler. Um, it's just the gold spring one. I got it on clearance for $1.09 at Kroger. They had them all. They were getting rid of them. I think they were redoing this probably a couple months ago. And I think they were redoing all the packaging and maybe the design or something. So I got them all really cheap. But if not, I usually use my e.l.f. eyeliner. Eyeliner again. I usually use my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Uh, this is the silver with the plain black handle. It comes from their dollar line. I really like that one for some reason. Um, I've got three favorite mascaras, and I think the one I'm going to use today... Clinique or CoverGirl? I'm going to use CoverGirl today. I love Clinique. It is my holy grail. Although I do, I'm, I am liking the benefits. They're real, I think is what it's called. I only have a little sample. I got a sample for free for my birthday, yeah. I love that mascara. But it is expensive and used only when I go to work, whereas today is kind of a, I'm just running around doing errands kind of day. I may do an update video after this. I don't know. I would have to write down everything that I need to update you guys on, or I could just do it in my blog. I do have a blog, I don't get on there very often. I've had a crazy past two weeks. My mother, uh, two and a half weeks ago, got diagnosed with cancer. We don't have cancer in our family. And uh, she got diagnosed with a carcinoid or carcinogenic. It's carso something. It's a slow growing tumor. Uh, she went in and had surgery. They think they got it all. Uh, obviously, if, they got, if there's anything microscopic, they couldn't get it. They couldn't see it. Uh, you can live up to 15 years with this tumor. Uh, this type of cancer and it's not the cancer per se that will kill you um, it's what it attaches to and it was attached to my mom's colon so they had to remove some of that it was on her small bowel and also on her pelvic um, so like I said it's been tra pretty traumatic and a lot of people ask me well, why aren't you crying anymore I don't have tears left to cry like believe me I want to but and there's my baby I was talking about his grandma, I didn't like that. Uh, but there's, you know, we're trying to be optimistic about this. We're trying to be upbeat because I know my mom can beat this. She will beat it. Um, we have a lot of people on our side. We've got good surgeons and she will beat it. Um, you know, so you just have to, you gotta be optimistic about it. So, he is waking up, which means he will be at the gate very shortly. So, I'm all done with this. This is the final look, so I hope you guys enjoy this. He will be right there in about 30 seconds after he climbs out of his bed, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I will do a blog post on it uh, a little bit later right now. It's going to be cuddle time with me and my baby, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.